lovely people out there on the internet. My name is Savannah and welcome back to Deck Duel. Deck Duel is the show where we take two decks of cards and compare them to each other head to head and see which one at the end is my personal favorite and which one I like the best. We're going to take a look at the overall look of the entire deck and the handling stock and the feel of the deck as a whole. And at the end, we will have my personal favorite of the two decks. In today's deck duel, we will be comparing the first edition original blue monarchs to the red monarchs that 311 just recently came out with. So let's get on to the duel. Hey guys, and welcome back to deck duel. In this duel, we will be comparing the uh, monarchs in blue, the first edition they came out with, and then the uh, red monarchs, the latest edition of those that they have come out with. Since both decks are uh, the same overall tuck box design, we're just gonna take a look at the outside, and then we're gonna go to the inside, and then we're gonna see which one I like the best. So as we can see on this tuck box itself, Theory 11 makes a fantastic tuck box. These are so elegant, so shiny, great embossing, great gold foil elements, an awesome tuck box for both of these decks. Um, the only difference, um, between these two tuck boxes is that the red box is made out of the Lux matte paper which is a very elegant and luxurious feel um, which enhances the overall quality of the cards I think it makes all of the entire deck seem a lot nicer and I definitely like that quality if you could just feel the deck you would definitely know what I'm talking about on the front you can just see um, the monarchs logo a bunch of gold foil embossing all kinds of really great elements. On the side it says the US Playing Card Company with a lot of adornment, a Theory 11 logo, embossing gold foil, and the red says the exact same thing. On the side here is a difference. Uh, you have overall the same look, but this says air cushion finish made in the USA, and then this one just says made in the United States of America. On the bottom you see that the uh, logos are upside down and flipped. Um, but they have overall the same copyright information, barcode, and Theory 11 logo. On the top, you have that skull with the sword through, but you can see that the seals are different. This is a red seal, and this is a white stamp seal. And on the flaps, it uh, carries over the design and the foil. And the inside of the cards are the respective color of whatever the tuck box is. Then we get a glimpse of what the back design looks like. It's a super elegant serpent around a snake with, like, a... Uh, branches and leaves coming out of it. It looks very elegant, very cool, and I think this is one of Theory 11's better decks that they've created. So first, we'll take a look at the back design of the blue deck. As you can see, it's the same as the actual um, tuck box. It has that serpent around the swords with all those kind of like viney leaves coming out of it. Very elegant, very cool, and I really like this back design. The red deck has the same back design, except the borders are super thin. Um, the additions of the blue deck that have come later than this first edition the borders have become thinner like on the red deck um, but I personally do not own any of those because I think this red deck is very awesome. I love the thin borders on these. It looks great with the back design and the overall color scheme. In both colors, the sets of jokers are exactly the same. It's that man riding a bicycle. Very um, cool and it very much goes with the overall uh, design and look of the deck. And they both have the same extra cards as well. In both decks, the Ace of Spades is the same as well. It's a blue, dark blue, almost borderline black spade with gold elements in it, which could be a little bit brighter on both decks. And it says the US Playing Card Company made in the United States of America. Very cool, very much goes with the deck. But one thing I would have wished is they would have made the red one red to go with the overall red deck. But overall, it does fit very well, and I do like both of them, but they are exactly the same. If we take a look through the red deck, you'll notice that everything is standard. Um, the court cards are standard, and all the other cards are standard as well. In the blue deck, you'll see that it's the exact same thing. Everything is standard as well. I think both decks are great with their overall design elements. The way they handle the stock, the finish, everything really works together well in both of these decks. These are both very solid decks of cards that Theory 11 has made, and I definitely really like them both. One advantage the red deck has over the blue deck is the uh, borders of the cards. I think it, um, it adds a little bit to the deck, especially when you fan it. You get to see some of the design a lot more than you get with the thinner borders. 
and the Lux matte paper that's on the actual box, if you were to be able to feel both of these boxes, you could definitely tell the difference. And I think that also adds to like the elegance and the luxuriousness of the overall deck and the cards, and I think that's definitely an asset. So looking at both decks of cards, I would have to say out of the two, my favorite is definitely the red deck. I think it handles great, it looks great, and overall it's just a really awesome deck, especially the deck box having that uh, Lux matte paper on it. It's it just honestly it feels so good and the deck itself handles very well holds up very nicely and I really like that however not degrading the blue deck at all it handles fantastic it looks great and it has all the really good elements that 311 likes to incorporate in their decks as well as a very awesome tuck box so kudos to the blue deck as well it's a very nice asset to add to a collection as well so thank you guys so much for watching this deck duel on the blue monarchs and the red monarchs I hope you guys enjoyed the video as you can tell I didn't really go into a whole lot of detail Detail about the deck itself. Both of these decks have deck reviews and they will be linked down in the description box. Definitely go check those out, learn a little bit more about the decks, then maybe come back to this deck duel and rewatch it. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like right down there. It lets me know you enjoyed these kind of videos. And as well as liking the video, definitely make sure to leave a comment. I would definitely appreciate that too. Also, be sure to subscribe down below as well. That gives you a notification every single time I upload a new video and you don't have to search for it. All my social media links are down below as well, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Definitely go check those out. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you guys, and definitely stay tuned for my next deck review, unboxing, or other video like this coming your way real soon.